wala pang two months ito. The owner of Manila Hotel, Don Emilio Yap, uh, called me. And uh, uh, we had, uh, we had uh, lunch. And to my greatest surprise, after uh, the lunch, I asked him, what can I do for you, uh, Don Emilio? And he said, cryptically, or I could not understand it immediately. You know, the um, president of Manila Hotel is uh, resigning. So you will be good for Manila Hotel. And Manila Hotel will be good for you. Those were his exact words. And okay. uh, we had three meetings, Ito. Three meetings <laughs> before, because uh, I immediately said, I, I, know, I don't know anything about hotel, um, uh, Don Emilio. Uh, my uh, forte is government uh, service. Mm -hmm. So uh, the things I know about a uh, hotel is you, you go there, you eat, and you sleep if you want to stay. But that's all I know about hotel. I don't mm -hmm. know hotel operations. I mean, it's uh, alien to me. And so I begged for time. You know, we Filipinos are very polite. No, we don't immediately say no, <laughs> and then <laughs> shake shake hands and then part ways. So I was very polite to Don Emilio. I said, "Can I consult with my wife?" And then okay, after one week we met again. Don Emilio, indeed, I have no. Uh, understanding of hotel business. Maybe you can look for another one. Uh, no, you can do it. You, know, you can do it. You mean DILG, your uh, governor, your uh, Metro Manila governor, your uh, secretary. You manage more the people. The you know, hotel is uh, smaller. Yes, Don Emilio, but uh, that's not my forte. But he was very insistent. Finally, I said, can I consult with my brother? <laughs> just, just uh, <laughs> Bert, he's the businessman. I, I said, yeah. he's the businessman. He has been helping me all this time also. I need to talk with him. And then my brother said, you know, a change of uh, atmosphere for you. Maybe better. You know, experience corporate life. And you know, after one year, if you don't like it, then you say goodbye. And that was it. That that convinced me to accept the the job. And uh, after you know, when I'm given a job, Sito, mm. this is what I am. Give me a job, and I'll do it with passion. I'll do it uh, 100 percent. Uh, I will attend to it. And after three months, I already understood what the hotel is all about. Mm -hmm. so I didn't have to cook. There is the chef. I didn't have to do the cleaning. There's a housekeeping. I don't have to uh, manage the people. There is an HR. So, but what I did, understanding the function of each department, like what I did when I was appointed governor of Metro Manila, I just studied the law. I didn't. I didn't have any experience running a government office. That's my first job, governor of Metro Manila. I replaced the former first lady of uh, Metro Manila, and so I've been here sixteen years. <laughs> sixteen years. Uh, by October, last October 1, uh, Sito, 16 mm -hmm. years na ako, and I managed three properties of the Yap uh, group of companies. Would you take an offer to join the Marcos cabinet if it ever came your way? Because uh, apparently there are a lot of people being offered. They reject. There are a lot of people uh, presenting themselves. They are rejected. But, but you are uh, extremely qualified. Would you consider a, a another run in government? Um, I'm always open, uh, Sito, to an opportunity to serve our people. Uh, material consideration is already not an important uh, thing to think about. But mm -hmm. it's the service that uh, one can provide. I have very uh, rich experience in government and in the private uh, sector. If the uh, if the invitation is offered and mm. I know the job like the the things that I've done in housing to even agriculture because mm. when you're a governor you understand all of these facets of uh, of uh, problems and programs mm. that need to be uh, done to solve the problem like food security 